Ahoy there, ye adventure souls. Set sail with us on a voyage like no other, into the untold tales of history's bravest women, the legendary female pirates, hidden behind the waves and cloaked in the mists of time. Their stories are about to be resurfaced, shedding light on the fierce spirits that defied conventional and carved their names into the annals of piracy, so prepare to be captivated by the captivating journey of unsung heroinesses of the high seas. This story will be a brief overview of some of the known and unknown pirates I could find. If you want more full videos on these incredible women like the one I have about Chin Shu in the playlist here, which you can click on after this video is finished, then write some comments in the section below down there with Davy Jones, and I will work up a full video for that one. Here we go. Pirates are often thought of as men, but did you know? that some of the most notorious pirates in the Golden Age were women. That's right. There were female pirates who roamed the seas, plundering ships and making their mark on history. Female pirates have long been overlooked in the history books, but their stories are just as fascinating as their male counterparts. Today, we are unraveling the untold history of the legendary female pirates. Imagine a world, imagine a world where women ruled the seas, defying social norms and challenging the patriarchy. These formidable women were not mere accessories to male pirates, but fierce leaders in their own right. However, it wasn't just their fighting prowess that made these women remarkable. They defied expectations choosing a life of adventure and freedom on the high seas instead of conforming to the social norms. These female pirates challenged the idea that women were weak and submissive. They commanded their own pirate crews and led successful raids, amassing great wealth and notoriety. Their stories are testament to the resilience and strength of women to, throughout history. Unfortunately, the tales of these remarkable pirates have been overshadowed by patriarchal narratives, but today we are reclaiming their stories and celebrating their boldness. So let us remember and honor these legendary female pirates who fearlessly sailed the oceans and left an indebitable mark on history. Their legacy serves as an inspiration to women today, reminding us that we are capable of anything we set our minds to. Thank you for joining us on this maritime journey and into the untold history of legendary female pirates here on Pirate Stories. Salty Tales. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating tales from the annuals of history. Let's get started. We'll start with Anne Bonny, one of the most feared and famous pirates. Was Anne Bonny born in the late 17th century? She became known for her ferocity and bravery. Anne sailed along the notorious pirate Calico Jack Rackman, challenging traditional gender roles at every turn. But Anne Bonny was not alone. Another remarkable pirate was Mary Reed, dressed as a male most of the time. Mary fought alongside male pirates for years before revealing her true identity. Her audacity and skill in battle were unmatched. These two women disguised themselves as men and joined the pirate crew of Calico Jack Rackman. They quickly proved themselves to be fierce fighters and gained the respect of their fellow pirates. However, their careers were cut short when they were captured and sentenced to death. Legend has it that Anne Bonny's last words 
to her lover, Calico Jack, were, If you'd had fought like a man, you needn't be hung like a dog. Now let's travel to China, where Ching Shi ruled the seas in the early 19th century. She commanded a fleet of over 300 ships and 40,000 pirates, and her power and influence were legendary. She even ne negotiated with the Chinese government to secure amnesty for her crew and herself, and retired with her wealth to live a long and prosperous life. You can watch her whole amazing story in my video about Chin Shu here in the list of videos here in the playlist connected to this video. But not all female pirates were as famous as Anne Bonny, Mary Reed, and Chin Shi. Rachel Wall was a lesser known pirate who terrorized the coasts of New England in the late eighteenth century. She and her crew were eventually captured and sentenced to death, but Rachel's story lives on as a reminder of the many women who took to the sea and lived a life of piracy. These women may have forgotten by history, but their stories are just as exciting and inspiring as those of their male counterparts. They prove that women have always been just as capable and daring as men, and that the world of piracy is no exception. Aye, mateys, there be more women you may not have heard of, but more lesser-known female pirates, as it were. If you stay with me, you will witness their tales. But first, have you smashed that subscribe button yet? Have you stabbed that like button? What you be waiting for are... Fanny Campbell, the Irish Sea Queen. Our voyage of these lesser known females takes us to the Irish Sea where Fanny Campbell ruled as the Sea Queen with fiery red hair and daring spirit. Fanny commanded her ship through treacherous waters taking on both naval ships and rival pirates. Fanny's swift maneuvers and strategic thinking earned her reputation as one of the most cunning pirate captains of her time. But beware for beneath her charm lay a fierce adversary. Anne Dulevet, Queen of the Brethren. From the Caribbean we sail to the notorious pirate haven of Tortuga, where Anne Dulevet reigned as the Queen of the Brethren, a French privateer turned pirate. Anne sailed alongside notorious buccaneers. Anne's battles prowess was legendary, and her leadership skills made her a force to be reckoned with. Her ferocity in combat and her loyalty to her crew earned her respect among both allies and adversaries. The English buccaneer, Charlotte D. Berry. Venturing across the Atlantic, we meet Charlotte D. Berry, an English buccaneer who defied gender norms to carve out her legacy on the open sea. Charlotte's audacious raids and keen strategies led to her becoming one of the wealthiest pirates of her time. Her tale serves as a reminder that even in the golden age of piracy, formidable women sailed alongside their male counterparts. Mateys, I see you still enjoying the tales of adventure, and I be a good crew member and stab the subscribe button with your dagger. It be take just a moment. R. The last woman hanged in Massachusetts, Rachel Wall. In the early American colonies, the story of Rachel Wall unfolds, the last woman to be hanged in a Massachusetts. Rachel's criminal journey began with her seafaring adventures, was a figure of both mystery and intrigue. Active during the late 18th century, she defied society norms by joining male pirates in acts of plunder. 
Her story remains shrouded in legend with the tales of her participating in daring ship raids and displaying a fierce determination to live life on her own terms. Wall's capture and subsequent execution serve as a haunting reminder of the risks and consequences faced by women who ventured into dangerous world of piracy. Mateys, if you be liking these tales, leave a comment down below near Davy Jones. He'll appreciate the company to be true. Rachel's life took a dark turn when she turned to piracy, terrorizing coastal communities. Her capture marked the end of her swashbuckling days, and she faced a grim fate. Belle, the princess of pirates, also known as Jeanne de Belleville. Belle was a 14th century pirate from the Brittany, France, after her husband was unjustly executed by the French king. She turned to piracy, seeking revenge. She equipped her ship with black sails and attacked French vessels, earning the nickname the Princess of Pirates. Fear not. Little is known about this female pirate except that she operated off the coast of Virginia in the late 17th century. She is said to have dressed as a man and participated in acts of piracy alongside her male crewmates. Bei Ling, a Chinese pirate active in the early 19th century, Bei Ling commanded a fleet of ships that terrorized the South China Sea. She was known for her strategic prowess and ability to command a large crew. The Chinese pirate commanded a fleet of ships that roamed the South China Sea during the early 19th century. Her story is intertwined with the complex political and social landscape of their time. She was not only a pirate but also a formidable strategist who capitalized on the chaos of the Opium Wars and the weakening Qing Dynasty to establish her power. Bei Ling's fleet was known for its audacious raids on coastal towns targeting both Chinese and foreign vessels. Her reputation as a ruthless and cunning leader spread far and wide, inspiring fear among those who crossed her path. The legend Bei Ling extends beyond her piracy exploits. She is also remembered for her ability to navigate complex alliances and rivalries between pirate factions and regional powers. While Bei Ling's ultimate fate is uncertain, her legends, her legacy as a powerful Chinese pirate continues to captivate imaginations and inspire tales of maritime daring and defiance. Her story serves as a testament to the innominable spirit of women who defied social norms and left a mark on history. Anne de Vett II was a French pirate who operated in the Gulf of Mexico during the late 17th century following in the footsteps of her namesake, Anne de Livet. She was also part of a larger community of pirates that frequented the region, engaging in acts of piracy against Spanish and other European ships. Andy Levet II is believed to have been part of a network of pirates who used the Gulf of Mexico as a base of operations. They established fortified hideouts on remote islands and coastlines, making it difficult for naval authorities to track and apprehend them. These pirates operated in a world of shifting alliances and rivalries, often working together to challenge the dominance of European powers. While specific details of Andy Levet II's exploits are limited, her presence and influence were significant within the pirate community of the Gulf of Mexico. She navigated the dangerous waters of piracy, 
forging connections and rivalries with fellow pirates, and leaving a mark on the history of maritime lawlessness in the region. Her legacy, like many pirate legends, is a blend of historical fact and romanticized myth, showcasing the allure and mystery of the golden age of piracy. Our final stop takes us to the Caribbean once more, where Anne, Bonnie, and Mary Reed form a partnership in piracy that defies convention. These fierce companions fought side by side, dressed as men to better navigate the male-dominated pirate world. Their legendary courage and camaraderie continue to inspire tales of unity and resilience. So, next time you think of pirates, remember that women were a vital part of the story. And if you've been waiting to smash those buttons below, now's your time to do so. Subscribe to our channel to learn more about the amazing stories of the golden age of piracy. Here on Pirate Stories, Salty Tales of Adventure. Subscribe to be part of the crew, matey. Join us this epic voyage of discovery. Amidst the waves where courage swells, legends of pirate women dwell. With cutlasses gleaming, hearts ablaze, they sailed through time's uncharted maze. Anne Bonny, fierce, a fiery soul, her tale of piracy takes its toll. Beside her, Mary Reed did stand, a, a partnership that shook the land. Charlotte D. Berry, English pride, her daring deeds could not be denied. Rachel Wall, a name less known, her life's story bravely shown. Isabel, Jean, and Fanny's name. Women of strength, they rose to fame. Belle of Brittany, fearless in fight. She challenged wrongs with all her might. Bailing of the eastern seas, commanded ships with mastery. And Grace O'Malley, pirate queen, her legacy in Irish history seen. From shores afar to oceans wide, they defied norms with spirits undenied. Their sails, unfurled hearts set free, women of pirate history. With swords and wit, they dared to roam, claiming power and making home. In history's pages, their stories stay, pirate women lighting our way. So raise your voice and let it ring for those heroines will proudly sing pirate women known and unknown in tales of bravery your strength has shown as we lower our sails and return to port remember that these daring women though lesser known played a vital role in the history of piracy their stories remind us that the seas were not solely ruled by men and the courage knows no gender until next time fair winds and following seas my fellow adventurers